Good day everyone, we are group 5 and we are going to report the model of the mind by Sigmund Freud. By the way, I am Abigail Biglaspar from BS Architecture TV with Princess Fulhensha and Fanfalo Esquadro. To begin with, there are three levels of mind. The preconscious. It consists of anything that could be potentially be brought in the conscious mind. Next one is conscious mind. Contains all the thoughts, memories, feelings and wishes of which we are aware at a given moment the aspect of our mental processing that could think and talk about rationally. This also includes our memory, which is not always part of our consciousness, but can be retrieved easily and brought into awareness. The unconscious mind is a reservoir of feelings, thoughts, and memories that are outside of our conscious awareness, and unconscious contains contents that are unacceptable or, un or unpleasant, such as feelings of pain, anxiety, or conflict. Food like the three levels of mind to an ice bridge. The top of the ice bridge that you can see above the water represent the conscious mind. The part of the ice bridge that is submerged below the water but is still visible is preconscious mind. The bulk of ice bridge that lies unseen beneath the water represent unconscious. Freudian sleep. The sleep of the tongue is one of the methods to learn how the conscious and unconscious mind work. Maybe each of us have experienced virgin sleep at some point or another. These inaccuracies are assumed to reveal underlying unspoken ideas or feelings. Sabi ko dito na while the unconscious mind is usually inaccessible, Freud felt that its contents can occasionally bubble up unexpectedly, such as in our dream or sleep the tongue, sleep of the tongue. Madalas po natin na experience ito, pero hindi tayo sigurado kasi hindi tayo aware na meron pala talaga ganitong pangyayari. Example po nito is kapag meron tayong kausap pero meron din tayong iba iniisip or hindi nakatuon ang attention natin sa kausap natin. Kapag tinatanong tayo ng kausap natin, minsan kung ano yung iniisip natin, yun yung lumalabas sa bibig natin or yun yung nasasabi natin. Example din po nito is nung hindi pa ako masyadong sanay umorder sa mga restaurant, kinakabahan po ako kapag ako na yung o-order. Tapos kapag may tinatanong sa akin yung nasa cashier, Kung ano lang po yung mga nadidinig ko doon, minsan, yun din po yung naisasagot ko sa nasa cashier dahil sa sobrang kaba. Sabi nga ni Sigmund Freud, yun daw po yung um, ibig sabihin ng sleep of the tongue. Accessing unconscious thought. According to Freud, even if we are unconscious of the underlying influences, ideas, and emotion outside our awareness, it continues to impact our act or our behavior. The unconscious can include preference feeling, hidden memories, habits, thoughts, desires, and reactions. Memories and emotions are too painful, embarrassing, shameful, or distressing to con consciously face are stored in the enormous receiver that makes up the con unconscious mind. Unconscious mind is so important because it drives most of what we do. But the point of it is being unconscious is that we are not always active aware of why we are doing it. As we, de as we delve deeper into the unconscious mind, what underneath can also be the most problematic or painful for us. It can hold our feelings, our fears, our secrets, our representations, and our insecurities. And yet we can walk around not even knowing certain things about ourselves because it exists the way it does. The contents of conscious mind include all of the things that you are actively aware of. The closely related preconscious mind contains all of the things that you could potentially pull into conscious awareness. The preconscious also acts as something of a guard controlling the information that is allowed to enter into conscious awareness. The preconscious refers to the thoughts you aren't actively thinking of, but can call to mind easily given the right trigger. In contrast, unconscious thoughts are repressed to the point that you can remember them without extreme effort and specialize. While many of Prod's ideas have fallen out of favor, the importance of unconscious has become perhaps one of his most important and enduring contribution to psychology. Psychoanalytic therapy, which explores how the unconscious mind influences behavior and thoughts has become an important tool in the treatment of mental illness and psychological distress. 
Karamihan sa mga ideya ni fraud ay tungkol sa kahalagahan ng kawalan ng malay. Yung teorya kasi niya ay yung parang di tayo aware na nagagawa na pala natin yung mga bagay. Ang psychoanalytic therapy sa na sumisiyasat kung paano na impluwensyahan ng walang malay na pag-iisip ang pag-uugali at pag-iisip ay naging isang mahalagang tool sa paggamot ng sakit, sa pag-iisip at psychological na pagkabalisa.